All right, so I'm going to do a quick follow-up video on that uh, chipper shredder that I just put together. Uh, it's Sunday. I think I put it together Tuesday. Uh, so Wednesday night, Thursday night, I went out and just cut some brush uh, and then piled it up. Uh, and then Saturday, I, I ran it through this machine. I, I probably put two to maybe three trailer loads of, of mulch through it. Uh, it was running for about five hours. It does a pretty good job. It, it goes pretty quick. Uh, definitely better than you know, filling the trailer, taking the trailer to the dump, getting weighed in, unloading the trailer myself, getting weighed in or weighed out. So weighed again, you can pay the difference as a minimum fee, 20 bucks. Right? Yeah, it's 20 bucks. Um, so yeah, I didn't have to leave the house. So that, that, was, that was nice. <laughs> a couple of things with that chipper shredder. Uh, I, I removed, um, I'll show you. So on this, on this inlet, this is where you feed the brush in. Uh, it comes it comes with this on it. Um, you know, that, that's the way it comes when you buy it, right? This this is a freaking disaster. It makes it real, this is tough rubber and whatnot, whatnot but even so, it makes it really difficult to, you know, get your brush in there. So uh, after an hour, it was gone. Yeah, I just ripped it off. Um, a little balls for it. Uh, yeah, I don't know why this one has it. If you look at most chipper shredders, they they normally have a, a opening like a wide opening on them. Uh, this is the only one I've even find that has a a plate to to limit what uh, what circumference of uh, brush you could put in there. Uh, I'm going to do an oil change on it because it's been going for about five hours, so I'll, I'll record that. It only take a minute, and then uh, I did break it. So right here. So you can see that 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 broke right off. Um, so what I'll I'll remove this and I'll I'll weld this back together. It's pretty lightweight steel. Uh, maybe I'll record that too. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how I feel. Uh, but yeah, it's only got it's only held in a couple of bolts there. I one at the bottom. So yep, yeah, no big deal. Do a quick oil change on it. It's pretty dirty. Uh, but you know when you're using this thing, the sawdust comes up out of here. Yeah, you know, it's just everywhere, everywhere you go, you're breathing sawdust for hours. So yeah, next time I do it, um, I'm gonna put a mask on. My, I could feel my chest was itchy. <laughs> like after I finished and put everything away and I was pretty tired and sore and uh, yeah, I, I just breathing was kind of scratchy. Uh, it, it's fine now, but uh, yeah, I think I was just breathing sawdust all day long. <laughs> <laughs> Screw that. Uh, so if you're using that thing, get, get yourself a, a little face mask. Um, yeah, that's it. I'm going to change the oil in it. I'll, I'll record that for you guys because then you can see me use that midi back tool. It's real easy. Um, I'm going to run it for a few minutes just to warm the oil up. Uh, I'm not going to record that. <laughs> um, and then maybe, maybe I'll pull that cover off and just weld it real quick. It won't, it won't take long to weld that. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Yeah, that's how I change the oil on all my small engines. It's super easy. Always grab some fresh oil, fill it back up. Mm -hmm. 
It doesn't take much oil. Probably half a quart. And you just fill it up till it runs out, basically. Basically, fill it up until it you know, reaches the end to the top thread. That is perfect. And you're a good knife for 25, 30 hours. All right, I'll pull that cover off. I think it's a 13. It's probably, it's, you know, it's American made, it's a half inch. Thirteen will get you, get you where you need. Because it's broken, it'll come right off, right? I think that might be pyro coated, which, you know, it's going to be a shame to grind off that pyro coat to, to weld it back together. Mm. Yeah, you, I got to grind somewhere shiny so I can get a good, uh, a good earth for the, the welding. One's a cap of nut. It has a little bit of movement there, but yeah, not a lot. Okay, so here's what I've set up. If you can see there, that's the little gap we're gonna fill in with weld. I could not uh, I could not get any way to sand back in here. Uh, where that red magnet is so we might have to just do one good weld uh, on the front side of it and i'll be able to just kind of tack it on that on that corner no big deal there um here's what i did with my earth instead of uh instead of grinding away a whole bunch of this powder coat uh, i just wrapped it with some copper copper wire uh, i'm hoping that's going to be enough to give me a, a good uh, a good grind so that i can Get a weld here if that doesn't this is going to weld like shit so there's a 80 percent chance that that's not going to work <laughs> uh, i'll give it a shot anyway i, I don't want to grind away all that powder coke i don't i don't have any blue paint so it's it's gonna look patchy anyway so um, at least the amount of patchiness i guess is best um I'm going to try and record welding it, and I may or may not blow up my camera, or I, I, I forget what people say, uh, put spots in it or something, or bur burn it, burn, I guess you can burn the camera, yeah, not, not sure, um, I might, I might put my back to the camera while I weld, just so that I don't ruin this camera, uh, I just got this camera about six weeks ago, just, just for making the YouTube uh, videos. So I, I don't want to. I don't want to burn it out. I mean, it wasn't super expensive. It's like three or four hundred bucks. But I, I don't want to. I want to destroy it. I already dropped it last week. <laughs> I thought I broke it then. Freaking thing flew across the fucking garage and parts. Uh, I think the only thing that saved it was it landed on the battery, uh, and the battery's pretty pretty beat up looking. Uh, but I thought it was broken because when I put the battery back in, it wouldn't turn on. Um, but then once I held the button for a couple of seconds, I don't know if that reset or what, it, it came back on. So anyway, long story short, I want to ruin my camera. So I'm not going to record the actual welding, but you can look at my back 
or my butt or whatever, whatever you can see. I haven't used this in a while. I haven't had a neat to A while, and when I say a while, I'm talking two weeks. Getting low on gas too. I gotta get my gas bottle refilled. These are uh, welder's pliers. Yeah, if you're going to do any kind of weld or anything, get yourself a pair of these. They come in real handy, especially for cleaning out little bits of uh, metal and stuff that's stuck up in here. I use a I use an anti-splatter lube on the on the head of the uh, uh, the wire. What am I trying to say? Shit. The little electrode thing on the top of it. I use a a lube on there, so it works really well. I don't, I don't really ever get too much flatter up in there. Uh, you, you can see it's still got some gel on it. You probably can't see it, but I always make sure your uh, your gas valve or your gas holes are clean. Your gas hole. Gas hole. He said gas hole. <laughs> All right. Uh, this, is, this is thin, thin, thin metal. So we are going to go... I'm probably going to go with the lowest setting on my welder, which is uh, one. I think it's for like 10. <laughs> Actually, we can measure the metal. It's 18 gauge. Uh, I think 18 gauge on this is two. Oh, let me double check my chart. So solid wire steel with gas, 75%. 25 CO, 18 is 2. So, we're going to go 2. Safety third, no jeans, no sleeves, no gloves. That's how we roll, baby. Oh, don't forget to purge your gas. All right, we got gas. If you don't purge your gas, that first uh, uh, five seconds of welding, it's going to weld like shit because it won't have any shielding gas on it. Um, so always, always purge your gas. on the other side of it, I'm just going to stitch weld it. Um, it puts an enormous amount of heat in extremely quickly, so I'm going to let it cool down in between in between each tack weld. Um, it's such thin metal, and I think setting two might be a touch high, but um, I wanted to make sure I got through to the back of it. Good penetration. With number two. <laughs> oh, this video. So you get rid of your magnets. I 
just going to let it cool down for a minute. So the, that one side is done. I'm going to flip it over. And I don't know. I couldn't get the I couldn't get it cleaned at the back. So I'm not sure how much of it I'm going to be able to weld. We'll, we'll see. I, I did penetrate all the way to the back, so it should be a fairly strong weld. I penetrated all the way to the back. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god, it's so bad. Um, so, and I did clean up that one little edge on the back side, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna fry one in. And it's probably gonna be stronger than it ever was. into it just you know just grinding that that metal back uh, you have enough heat into it to warp it again I'll show you what it looks like here oh boy so yeah it, of course it looks ugly right no big deal this is all gonna get grind smooth uh, and then on the back side I was able I was able to get all the way in there so uh, I'll grind it down and then I'll uh, I'll turn the camera back on so I just uh, I just grind these back. Show you what it looks like there. So uh, nice and smooth. I didn't want to grind it. It's super thin metal, so I didn't grind back too much. Uh, and then on the back side, oh, that's about all I could really grind back. There's that that one little corner there, which no big deal. Uh, we're we're gonna paint over that that weld that's right. There, I don't know if you can see that little lump of weld. I just couldn't get a, anything in there to sand it, so no big whoop. Uh, we're gonna put some edge primer on this and then uh, put it back together. So, yeah, that's how it, uh, it turned out. Let's see if I can, there you go, that's how it turned out. So, after I cleaned that up, I just uh, I just put some uh, 2K primer on it. I didn't even let it dry. <laughs> I just screwed it back together. Uh, let, me, let me show you how it turned out. It looks okay. Uh, I don't have blue paint, so. <clears throat> so hopefully you guys can see that's where uh, that's where we were broken before. I can show you we, we were we were broke right here. Oh. That that's probably the weakest point right there too. Where that where that band is. Uh, yeah, you can you can barely even tell I uh, I welded it back together. Uh, see, I put all the bolts back in it. There's the other one. There's one down at the bottom somewhere. Right there. Uh, so yeah, uh, and it's it's rock solid. 
So, if you're going to buy one of these, the Power Horse uh, from Northern Tool, you a couple of things. Never let it run out of fuel, ever. <laughs> Make sure you have a welder to fix it when it breaks after one day, or five, five hours, not even. Um, and then take, take, the, take that plate off so you, it's easier to feed the, this plate, right? So take, take this thing off of it uh, so that it's, it's much easier to feed, uh, to feed your brush in there. Uh, other than that, you know, my first hour using it, I got I was getting a little frustrated trying to get the brush in, and, and yeah, and I, 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 after about five minutes, I was like, I'm gonna take that off, and then I decided not to. Let me use it the way you know it's the intended. Blah blah blah. Forget it. Just just take that plate off. Um, I let it go for an hour before I, I went and got an, uh, a ratchet and just phew, ripped it right off. Uh, it's lucky. It, it's lucky I didn't throw it in the woods. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I'm never going to put it back on, unless I ever go to sell the machine. That would be the only reason to, to keep it. Um, uh, yeah, other than that, make sure you grease it. To, uh, yeah, that's, so I didn't read the instructions, but right here there's a, a grease nipple. So I saw it and I thought, yeah, I better grease it. Uh, it came full of grease, because uh, I, I tried. I tried to pump a little grease into it, and it, it just speed back out. It was full. Uh, I, I would say you probably want to grease that, like, every other use or yeah yeah just make keep an eye on that you don't want that season up on you um, other than that that's it yeah changed the oil in it after five hours uh, the oil that came out of it it looked okay you know but just just in case you want to get it out in case there's any little metal bits in there or anything like that um, yeah that's it it's ready to go now for you know 25 30 hours uh, unless you know other stuff starts breaking on it, you know, whatever, we'll weld it back together. <laughs> um, yeah, you get to see my welding skills. I did not put a lot of effort into welding that. I'll be honest with you, it's not my best work. And when I was grinding it back flat, I got a little happy right here with the grinder and grind like a little tiny divot in it there. Whatever. It's it's a chipper shredder, right? It, it's not a car, so. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't give it a lot of effort or thought. Uh, so yeah, that's it. If you're getting one of those, you know, make sure you can weld or have a welder or access to a welder. And uh, take that plate off and change the oil after five hours and you're good to rock and roll. That's it.